Sometimes things go smooth without a hitch, but on other occasions, like this particular occasion, becoming tongue-tied was contagious. Of Hill City Blues, we were going to be putting you behind the passenger seat of our patrol units. We initially mentioned that we would include all three shifts, and after planning and careful consideration, we decided to devote one shift for three shows. That's wrong. One shift for three shows? <laughs> You may remember that during last month's show, we told you that for this edition of Hill City Blues, we'd be putting you into the passenger seat of all our shifts in the seats. <laughs> you may remember we told you that during last month's show, that for this edition of Hill City Blues, we'd be putting you into the passenger seat. Each of our three shifts. Oh, no, see, that's what I, that's what I want to say, but that's what I can't say during last month's show. We told you that for this edition of Hill City Blues, we'd be putting you into the passenger seat of our patrol units. We initially mentioned that we would... I near need... That's right, isn't it? It's what you call, I realize... I think that... we should keep my clip, because... We initially... Hold on, three. You gotta give me the sign, I'll go. We initially mentioned that we would include all three shifts for this one show, but after some consideration, we've decided to instead devote one show to one shift. That means three shifts will be on three shows. <laughs> we've decided to include the midnight shift on this television. Uh, one tell, show to each shift. Let's just tell the people what we're doing. That's all I want to do. Let's just okay. tell them what we're doing. Devote one show to each of our shifts. We initially mentioned that we would devote one show for all three shifts, but we decided after careful planning that what we're going to do instead is devote one show to each shift. That's right, John. <laughs> <laughs> hello. You may... Hello. <laughs> hello. Paul Palmer, Palmer and John Pelletier. Hello. For this edition of Hill City Blues, coming up in the highlight, we'll be putting you into the passenger seat and the passenger seat of the that's next to the driver's side. And uh, <laughs> we're getting there. We're, we are. That was that was better, I think. From the top, we told you during last month's show that for this edition of Hill City Blues, we'd be putting you into the passenger seat of our patrol units. We initially said that we were going to... Is the camera on me? Okay. Start with your initial beat. We initially said that we were going to devote one show for all three watches. However, after planning and a little bit more consideration, we've decided to devote one show for each shift. This month's highlight will be focusing on the midnight shift of Lynchburg Police Department, the Community Protectors Watch. At the top of the news this month, six officers have been promoted within the... Uh, something's really wrong with our teleprompter. You tell you what, if you tap the button, not facing me to my far right. No, 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 it's on my side. On this thing here, on this thing here. Yeah, you're going to have to actually come around. Yeah, come up on the stage. Hey, Kevin's got it. Top, bottom right button, just t tap it. There you go. That's where the short is. That's that's good. Oh, that's great. We could utilize that, you know. <laughs> Five of the graduates representing the three different types of different parts of the universe. It's easy for you to say. Five of the graduates representing three different departments in Rhode Island. Chris is going to kill me. I I was laughing because that was a tremendous run on it. <laughs> Was about a, oh God, that was a long sentence. It was, it was a page. It was a, it was a page you gave me. <laughs> what time did you write that script? 2 a.m. It was the winner of last month's community contest. Her name was drawn, and it was awfully special going to her school. We tracked her down. I, I didn't know if we were filming. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can we, yeah, can we get an idea if we're actually filming or not? So I, no, that's fine. Uh, it, this is ad lib fun. Okay. Out of all the correct entries uh, last month, we drew a name. It was Chelsea Vaughn. She was very special. She came from the office. I, I thought I was starting it. Are you starting it or am I starting it? 
Our winner for last month's community contest was Chelsea Vaughn. Her name was drawn in the contest and uh, it was quite exciting to go to her school and reward her with the one of four Lynchburg Police Department Bears. That's right, Ed. She was, believe, was a first or second grader and we had an opportunity to go to her school and award the bear to her. The school was happy to see us and she certainly was happy to see us also. So get your papers and pencils ready. We got to redo that though. Because I, I kind of, I made, I went, oh, I was doing that. I couldn't, were you really? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get into it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Get ready with this because we're going to go transition right yeah, in. Yeah, we're going you right in. You can move or get pencils, get paper. You, look, pencils you just look a little too relaxed over there, so we were concerned about that. So you don't want to make that I feel my, my inflection comes from the way Body. I tilt my head in front. Okay. Five of the graduates, the graduates. Graduate. Three, two, five of the graduates. I should mention that Officer Anders initi Anderson's initiative actually. Me. <laughs> I became an MP with the 197th Infantry Brigade. 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 <clears throat> now we're going to have the top again. Well, this, we're going to have. We bring now you the. We bring now you. We now bring you. We bring now you. Three, two. Okay. Three, two. We now bring you the highlight of our show. John, I think the people really last month enjoyed the on patrol highlight with the midnight shift. And uh, that's all I have to say. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't key in. I'm thinking you. Okay. No, go okay, ahead. here we go again. I'm trying not to read. I'm trying to talk That's to you. That's fine. Hold right. it down a little bit. So. We now bring you the highlight of our show. John, I think last month the people really enjoyed our viewers, really enjoyed the ones that were watching. They think they really enjoyed the viewers. They were the best viewers we had. I'm just that. Okay, Paul, let's just be natural. Okay. This month's contest winner will receive an LPD t-shirt, just like last month, illustrating the point of honor in the background. This shirt, as last month, whoops, my ad lib ruined it. Okay, I'll do it just off the paper. Or E, only when you can't see your hand in front of your face. Yeah. Or E, when white thread two inches from the eye cannot be seen without an auxiliary source of lighting. <laughs> That's not even a blooper. It's like my mom. Wes's son, Matthew, is a police officer currently with the Lynchburg Police Department. Wow. Ooh. Whoa. What was this you were doing? I was really distracted because I saw something like going like this. Yeah, you were going like this. What does that mean? That's just hot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he was giving hand signals I'm to himself. Thinking, I'm looking over trying to read thinking, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to wipe my brow? <laughs> I think I did wipe it. Subconsciously, I'm thinking, wipe my brow. What is it? Wasn't, it wasn't you. Uh, okay. Trying to keep the beads of sweat from dripping into the delicate electronic. <laughs> Delicate. In fact, I want to mention that that open door, the second open door, was not set up. It That's true. Real. We really want to give the public sight. I didn't even know what I was going to say. The open oh. door threw me up. It was once said that the only predictable thing about police work is that it is unpredictable. As Officer Brandon Zuneman tends to merely explain how police officers on midnight shift check the doors, watch carefully as he attempts to conceal a surprise that the second door of the night is found to be unlocked. Watch closely. Walking the, the downtown beat or something like that, checking the doors, and it's still true today. You need to be out checking your buildings. Um, we have a lot of problems with burglaries, break-ins overnight in a lot of the city areas. So we try to get out and do as much as we can, especially at midnight. We're a little slower sometimes and uh, we don't have the calls for service and we apparently found one right here. Looks like they're doing a little work in here. Or sometimes, and uh, we don't have the calls for service and we apparently found one right here. Looks like they're doing a little work in here. Thirty-two. Get another officer that's up the street here and uh, slip down here. Watch closely as the Hill City Blue team sneaks up on Officer Raglan telling a story about a water fountain. But what do you think you're in front of it? That freaking thing was, I mean, it was spittle water everywhere. Oh, that's a lot of it, John. I mean, it was spittle water everywhere. Oh, that's a lot of it, John. That was the next one. Yeah, Rear Hill, Rear Hill City Blues, John. Yeah. While 
filming some footage of Officer Danny Couch for our Officer Spotlight segment, Deputy Ann Riley spontaneously appears, unplanned, offering donuts to the officers. Watch closely as Officer Couch bites into his cream-filled donut. Did we get a cream filled? Yeah. Officer Couch getting his donut for the day. Thank you. No, these are a whole lot better. Get one, John. Get one, John. Get Do you like a cream pie? Sure, go ahead. All officers need a cream pie. <laughs> 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 In case you missed it, let's watch that again. Do you like a cream pie? Sure, go ahead. All officers need a cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> Watch now as Lieutenant J.J. Stapleton becomes frustrated at his repeated attempts to get the statistics right and information correct related to child safety seats and airbags. There have been uh, less than 10 adults killed by a car seat. Although there have been a few adults killed by an airbag, the majority of those were not wearing their seat belt properly. This, without this, uh, will do you no good. Airbags have saved over 1,500 lives, so there's no need to be scared of airbags if you're seated properly and you have your children placed in the correct place. Go. Well, there has been a lot of news lately about airbags and children being killed. Go. Well, there has been a lot of concern lately in the news about the danger of airbags. That can be eliminated by placing your small children in the rear seat. Uh, there have been 31 children killed by car seats. Me, when I was in the studio and I kept having them boo -boo. <coughs> Go ahead. While there has been recent publicity over the dangers of airbags and children, that can be avoided by placing your small children in the rear seats. Of the 31 children that have been killed to date by airbags, uh, a majority of those were placed in the front seat where they never should have been. As for adults, there's been fewer than 10 that have been killed while an airbag deployed. But out of those, the majority were not wearing their seat belt. The seat belt without the airbag or the airbag without the seat belt uh, is no good. And neither is this take. And speak firmly begin. There has been some recent concern in the media over the use of airbags. If the child is placed properly in the car, that is the rear seat, the airbags become of little danger to the child. There have been 31 infants or young people killed by car seats. But that's because they were placed, they weren't killed by car seats. Coming up next, we'll have bloopers from our youngest assistant who helped us make a public service announcement. If this won't stop you from using drugs, this will. I hate drugs. My daddy, he used drugs and then they killed him. Here's a blooper where our chief, Colonel Charles Bennett, inadvertently contaminates the empty boxes so that the dog gets a false hit.
Okay. He's trying to get that crack. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to get the least amount of shadows. I had my flu shot recently, and they gave me the swine flu vaccine, and I had an adverse reaction. So that's I apologize for this. I've been able to yeah, I've been able to stop going out and want to get in the mud and roll around. I've overcome that to a large degree, and I'm real proud of I've been able to do that. Okay. Oh, it's good. You're not going to no. All right. While filming our ninth edition of Hill City Blues, a light bulb blew and exploded inside the studio. And watch now as we react to it. And the students that apply it. Students that apply it. So it's like uh, you remember me telling you, Taylor, that. Uh, and as much as I tried to make it interesting, and I hope I did. <laughs> I always had told you that that this what you're getting is information, and basically uh, it's just like any other topic you get in school. What you do with it is basically your choice. Welcome back. We just had uh, an, explosion. an explosion that just killed two of our panelists. <laughs> now, I, I understand uh, from Emily that there are slices. <laughs> you must select them. Get ready with uh, pen and paper for our contest. Last, last, last. Good. Good. All right, try it again. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. And the main thing they need to remember there is 199, because everything makes sense. Hill City Blues, that's this show. Uh, Lynchburg Police Department, who we work for. P.O. Box 199 is the most, just most difficult part there. And then the zip code 24505. Timberlake Road and Wards Ferry Road also had 15 with five injured in those accidents that happened. <laughs> Dare Night was held at R.S. Payne Elementary School for all parents of students currently attending the fifth grade Dare classes. Paul and I showed... <laughs> <laughs> Paul, John, and I... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's not me showed, it's I showed. <laughs> Paul, Paul and me. <laughs> Paul, John, and I. Oh boy, this hurts. This is bad. Okay. <clears throat> no, I'll <laughs> hopefully catch that. Are we going again? We're ready. Dare yeah. night. Yeah. All right. Three, two. Sometimes you can get so wrapped up in what you're doing, you're not aware of your surroundings. We encourage you to give us some feedback. Next month, what? <laughs> Here we go again. We encourage you to give us some feedback. Next month, what? <laughs> and also remember, school will be starting back now, so what? That's right. Oh, okay. Here's one where Paul gets a chance to work on his verb tenses. And to see all exactly firsthand what they do there in the facility. That's right, and I found out it interesting to note that our detention home can keep and does keep, has kept, uh, young people. <laughs> can keep, keep, does keep, and has kept. <laughs> I was going to keep up. I was actually going to keep up, but that, that Cindy's gasp okay. just put me. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I I'm going to start at and the department in the middle of page six. Say again? Do you want me to start at and the department in the middle of page six? Yes. <clears throat> okay. When you're ready, Paul. Three, two, and the department has been helping. Three, two, and the department has been. Hold on, hold on. There is a small incision like mark behind his ear where an alien is. <laughs> I watched Space Jam where they took the talent out of the guys. 
Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Three, two. There's nothing like a case of laryngitis when you're doing studio work. Watch this. And her service to the community. Now for this month's highlight, Hills. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Let me get a little water. I was distracted by the sound of my own frog. <laughs> okay. Three, two. And now for the highlight of this month's. <laughs> Hold on, we'll do puberty. it Puberty. Is this a puberty? <laughs> I'm losing it. And now? <laughs> the winner for the LPD at. At? <laughs> the winner. Remember to pause. The winner of this month's contest will receive an absolute Lynchburg Police Department t-shirt. That's right, John. I mean, what else do you want? Thank you for joining us for this edition of Hill City Blues. Please watch out for the next month's show when you'll get to see the tactical section during some of their training sessions. Bye-bye now. That was terrible. We need to do that again. No, no, the very... Very end. I had a smile. I read it right. No, there's a tempo. We'll see the tactical unit. Oh, now you're going to be a critic. Okay, we'll go back and criticize Tell everything. Tell you what, let's make it, in. let's improve one. Another is the traffic enforcement in school zones. This has been a real concern for police and many citizens. Police have been and will be operating radar in the 25 mile an hour school areas. Although many drivers are safety conscious in these zones, some still seem to disregard them. Please help us by taking school speed zones zero. zero. Seriously. That is a weird way of wording it. <laughs> we'll be right back with our crime from Hey Paul, over here. <laughs> we'll be right back with our crime Try to get prevention. I was, was cracking up. Okay. We'll be right back with our crime prevention corner. And Hill City Blue has a regular time slot now on Channel 6. We'll be airing regularly at 5 o'clock on Tuesdays, barring City Council's meeting. But you can tune in regularly and see us regularly, regularly, regularly. <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> Other than that, it's regular. Okay. And Hill City Blues has a regular time slot now on Channel 6. We'll be airing regularly on Hill City Blue. We sometimes don't know exactly what to expect when we're working with the field officers. Hey, you say, hey, you didn't say, we'll say. All right, see you That's right. And now, to do with every police officer dreads, paperwork. That's a big part of the police work. I find when I do my paperwork in one of these little offices, I don't have as many mistakes. Just give me a few minutes. Not always the police that surprise us. Here's Noreen Turin practicing a felony stop at the Citizens Academy. You can never tell what footage you'll get when filming for Hill City Blues. Here's Officer Bill Torbick, our evidence technician. You may be wondering why he has an umbrella. Well, while working in his office, the new construction caused a leak in the ceiling which caused the tiles to topple all over his computer, head, cabinet, and everything else in the office. Yeah. Stay tuned, don't go away. We'll be back with more right after this.
Many people think passing a school bus is no big deal. Until tragedy strikes. Our children are our future. They're worth stopping for. If you have a question or comment regarding Hill City Blues, please write the Lynchburg Police Department at Hill City Blues, P.O. Box 199, Lynchburg, Virginia, 24504. Or you may call us at 847-1407. Thank you for watching.